Honolulu City Councilwoman Tulsi Gabbard announced she will seek the Democratic nomination for the U.S. House of Representatives for the second congressional district next year. That's rural Oahu to the neighbor islands. This is the seat to be vacated by Congresswoman Maisie Hirono, who is running for the U.S. Senate. Gabbard is a member of the Hawaii Army National Guard and spent a year and a half in deployment in Iraq after being the youngest person in Hawaii's history to be elected to the State House. And joining us this morning is Tulsi Gabbard. Good morning. Good morning and thank Mahia. you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it too. Well, as you know, uh, former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman just announced that he is running for this same seat. And he is uh, arguably one of the most recognizable politicians in this state. Uh, he has a, a long history in politics, and he was just on our news yesterday, and he said that he has the experience to be in Congress. As for you, you've been in uh, the city council for less than a year. What do you see as the main difference between you and Mr. Hanneman? Uh, I'm very excited and inspired as I've been traveling across the state and reconnecting with people who I've met previously and making new friends along the way and talking story with them. And uh, I bring a very unique skill set, and that's what I'm offering to the people of Hawaii. I've been deployed twice to the Middle East, as you mentioned, and having that firsthand experience, as well as working with Senator Akaka in Washington, being involved here in local and state politics gives me uh, a very unique background and a very credible platform to be a very strong voice for Hawaii and lead us into a more secure future for our keiki. What do you think about this daunting task of challenging him? Uh, well, I, I'm actually focused more on the people of Hawaii and offering to serve them. It's something that I take very, very seriously and making sure that uh, the challenges that people are facing where our unemployment rates are going up, the need to create very good jobs here and provide opportunities, making sure people can stay in their homes, taking care of our kopuna. These are the things that I'm very focused on and working very hard and look forward to representing the people in Congress. You know, there have been some complaints that uh, people have called you a Democrat in name only, partly because of your father, uh, State Senator Mike Gabbard, who was uh, an opponent of same-sex marriage many years ago. What do you think about that complaint? Well, I am my own person, first of all, and I have always been, from the time that I was elected to the state legislature at 21 years old, uh, to when I deployed to the Middle East with the National Guard, working with Senator Akaka, and now, my sole focus has been on serving all the people of Hawaii in the best possible way that I can, and um, that's, that's what I'm trying to do with my life. What is your stance on same-sex marriage? Uh, that's an issue that's been already been decided here in Hawaii. It's been decided here uh, in 98 when the people voted for a constitutional amendment and uh, most recently civil union. So uh, I'm more interested in, in working on creating jobs, uh, improving our economy and making sure that uh, people are taken care of and, and that in government we're focused on serving them. Do you think that voters should know where you stand on that issue? Uh, sure. I mean, I... I, I supported the uh, traditional marriage amendment back in 98 but again I, I think it's important for all of us to focus on the issues we're most concerned about right now and that is improving our economy and providing more opportunities for people here and uh, just really quickly uh, you know you send out a, a very personal news release uh, many months ago saying that you had dropped your last name to Mayo after your divorce and and you said that you had become a statistic and a sad story because of your long deployment can you explain the impact of that on your personal life and how you'll use that experience in Congress the challenges faced by our many service members here in Hawaii our National Guard reservists and active duty members as well as across the country uh, in serving on these multiple deployments is very real and very serious and I've experienced that firsthand both with myself and with many of my friends who I deployed with um, and these challenges of being away from home for long periods of time, the stresses placed on families and on our service members' lives are very long-lasting. And uh, I will be a credible voice for them in Congress, be able to fight for our veterans and fight for our service members' families to make sure that they're taken care of after they've put their lives on the line for our country. Well, Tulsi Gabbard, good luck with your campaign. It's just in the beginning stages, and we will hope to see you in the future on our morning news. Great. Thank you so much. And also running for the U.S. House is Office of Hawaiian Affairs Chief Advocate Esther Kia Aina.